Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out the part one of the caves and cliffs update in Minecraft. So let's get to it. First up, we see that uh, we have a new panorama background of the caves and cliffs update. Okay, now let's check out the items. First up, we have the glow item frame. So what this does? So what this does is it glows when you uh, shine it so if i put a block right here it glows it really glows but uh, if you try it with a normal item frame it is dark as you can see the glow item frame glows and it is also super cool to see next up we have the spyglass which you can use for spying on your friends and it looks really cool too <laughs> let's try it out -da -da -da. i am looking but you can't even see me next up we have the powdered snow it is very cool this is my this is i think this is my favorite one because like it's like normal snow but quicksand mixed with it so it's like you know how quicksand like sucks you into it it's like also is the same but it's even cooler so when you're walking on it it just sinks you in and also this cool border comes on because you know you are cold it's really cool. It's really hard to get out to. So when you're like out and about, don't forget to avoid these powdered snow things. Next up, we have the amethyst shard, which can be used to make various things like the spyglass that I've just shown to you. And uh, it's amethyst shard comes in these uh, cool little amethyst geodes. Like they're like these domes, which you can see on the screen right now. And now for the lightning rod. The lightning rods are used to collect uh, the lightning because you don't want it to hit you, do, do you? Okay, now let's look at the mobs. We have the goat, the axolotl, and the glow squid. Let's look at the goat first. The goat uh, is really cool. It looks very cool. And um, you should be careful because it may ram you. <laughs> and um, it's it spawns on like you know high mountainy areas okay next we have the axolotl which is also really cool because it's really cute okay let's go underwater to look for what how, how it looks see how it looks whoa and also there are different types of axolotl so there are different colors different colors uh there also, I think there's also a yellow one, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yellow one looks so cool, man. Okay, and these axolotls, they can, you can team up with them by collecting. If you collect axolotls with buckets and then you can place them, they will team up with you and, like, attack any foes, like fish, squids, drowns. So, whenever you're uh, out in the sea uh, adventuring, you can just uh, spawn a bucket of uh, axolotls and they'll be in your team defending defending you against all the drowns next up we have the glow squid the glow squid is like a normal squid but it glows like the glow item frame so whoa dude it's so shiny okay and when you kill it you get the glow ink sack and that's how you make the glow item frame <laughs> it's just everything is just a glow you get these glow ink sacks which look like a sparkling ink sack and that's how you create the item frame okay now let's check out the blocks the blocks are there are a lot of blocks that's what i want to say there are there is cobbled deep slate which you get by mining deep slate which are very underground and from that you get a cobble deep slate and you can make it into uh, cracked deep slate bricks deep, uh, chiseled deep slate uh, cracked deep slate tiles deep slate tiles and deep slate bricks okay now let's look at the ores we have like raw gold ores like uh, no, go, raw gold blocks like the, raw, the block of raw gold the uh, block of uh, raw iron and the block of raw oh, the rock of raw copper and the rock of raw iron and we get from those things we get uh, the raw gold raw copper copper and raw raw iron we also have 
the copper ingots which we get from the deep slate copper ore in the underground like near the deep slate places we get uh, deep slate ores which look like this they are really cool and they spawn in the underground really deep under the ground okay next we have the rooted dirt the moss block uh, the moss carpet the small drip leaf drip leaf, drip leaf and the big drip leaf the big drip leaves are like literally like stairs but when you st stay on them too long they literally just drop you it's like yeah so when you walk on them if you stay in them for too long they drop you and then they just come back up come back up <laughs> and you should st so it's very good for parkour you have to make quick decisions and stuff so you can for map makers these are really good Okay, we also have these small drip, le drip leaf blocks which only can uh, be placed on uh, moss blocks. Um, moss carpets are just like, you know, uh, carpets that look like the moss block. And the rooted dirt is, it is dirt, but it has roots in it the rooted dirt is uh, just looks like dirt but with uh, roots in it it looks really cool so this is the this is the rooted dirt and this is the dirt so hope you liked it guys i sure did showing you all these new uh, blocks and features in the uh, Minecraft 1.17 update. I uh, hope you liked it. Oh, I just sunk into the powder snow. Anyway, hope you liked it, guys. Uh, subscribe and share if you did. Hope see you in the next video.